Coming to you from our GIS studios, I'm Nisha Charles and this is your Midday News Brief. Government is continuing efforts to modernize the land registry with the digitization of documents at the land registry. The Minister in the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Physical Planning, Natural Resources and Cooperatives, Honorable Herod Stanislas, says the move will allow for greater efficiency, enhanced transparency and accountability in the land administration process. The completion of the digitization work will enable St. Lucia to adopt a digitized, secured and searchable land information database which will add value to the operations of the land registry by improving ease of access to, protection of and faster verification of documents and reducing the time needed to register documents in the registry. Features will include secure data exchange between the Registry of Companies, the Inland Revenue Department, the National Insurance Corporation, and the Registry of the High Courts. The newly upgraded Canaries Plain Field is now officially opened. The long-awaited community asset was commissioned this past weekend with the hosting of a Minister's 11 cricket match, along with both veteran and youth football matches being played. Parliamentary representative for the area, Honorable Dominic Faley, says that since assuming office, government has worked hard to improve the living conditions in the village. These include the upgrading of the Canaries Bridge, free Wi-Fi internet in the community, refurbishment of the community schools, and the upgrading of the water treatment facility and site protection. The minister thanks the sportsmen and women, as well as residents of the community, for their patience during the implementation of the project. The Mount Fortune Liberty Park in the community of Mount Fortune is now officially opened. The project, which initially commenced in 2011, was opened on June 2, 2019. Parliamentary Representative for Castry South East, Honorable Guy Joseph, along with the Prime Minister and other government ministers, unveiled the plaque for the park. The park was funded by the Government of St. Lucia and the Constituency Development Program, funded by the Government of the Republic of China, Taiwan. The park was the vision of St. Lucia's first female member of parliament, Haroldine Rock, a former representative for the area, who saw to it that governments acquire a plot of land to create a public space for the residents of the area. And that's it for our midday news brief. Thank you for tuning in.